RPG gaming, which I'd like to see. And it's a it's a lockdown for Ember Spirit. It is still tough, though, right? Because it's not instant. So if FN's quick, he's going to yeah. get it off. That's the only problem, I think. But they have lift, right? You have the lift from Rubik, too, with Blink. And they're just going to... They're, they're pretty much doing the same thing. Why not? Why not? Lone Druid's still good versus all these, all three of these heroes. Well, I mean, Lone Druid's banned. Okay. He's still good versus them, though. Yeah, okay. That's why they banned him. Touche. Touche. Indeed. Yeah. Is there anything that can replace Lone Druid? Honestly, Invoker. I like Invoker this game versus Root. Eh, versus Legion. I mean, Legion's good versus most mid heroes, though, yeah. right? You just blink on him, he will get his stuff up. Because we assume FN is definitely going to play the Ember again, whether it's middle or safe lane. Yeah, I would say so. He felt comfortable. By the way, no that. Pango ban here yet. Correct. Previous game, we did have a Vici Pango ban in the second they phase. Did, yeah. They could they, they could pick it here. That they they, do, they have played it on Afterlife earlier. Ooh, okay. I think. I like that. The PA pick, it kind of it's a oh. deny pick as well, and they go darks here. Wow. That is, I mean, they they all the uh, the Pango was still an option, so they prefer the darks here for the offlane this game. But why? What what's uh, what's the good thing about it? it he has Earth Spirit to work with. Uh, it's one of the old school combos. Uh, I'm not a big fan of a dark seer because he takes so much. Usually he creeps, skips, uh, try, tries to make something happen. He doesn't yeah. pressure the lane that much, but with Earth Spirit, he actually does. Uh, Phantom Assassin uh, is really vulnerable to magic damage early yeah. on, and in the mid mid game, you're going to have Ember Spirit with Iron Shell plus a Flame Guard. That's a ton of magical damage. Yeah. These games have had a lot of lane swaps, though, so wouldn't VG Gaming try to not have... Yeah. No, you can't. The PA you're, you're, playing, you're playing against Chen. You have he, to. he can have the matchup that he wants. He can either okay. TP or in. just yeah. uh, right. recall someone. That's, that is good. I didn't think about that. That's going to be real rough. And honestly, Darkseer doesn't even mind, right? Darkseer doesn't care. He'll, he'll be fine against Legion. He, he'd rather be against PA, obviously, but he mm -hmm. doesn't even mind going against Legion. And because they already picked their support duo, there's nothing really they, they can have that can Swap still purge. Unless they're going for the, the old middle Enchantress. Or Ugh. middle Rubik. Or middle Rubik and then switch it. Why, why did middle Rubik die? What what happened? Because like, he is really decent uh, for the first, like, seven minutes, eight minutes, and then he's just the same old support. Then you're relying so on your enemy like to have... Maybe an extra item, yeah. Yeah. I guess that, that makes a lot of sense. Just kind of falls off. Yeah. This PA, do you like PA with no real buffs, right? You have the Legion Commander press the attack, but that's it. I do not that's like not naked a huge PAs. Buff. Yeah, yeah. Na like, you want the Chen PA. This, this naked PA is not fun. Do you think they picked the PA partially to deny it to Gambit? I think Possibly. I think that's why they did it. I don't think Gambit would have picked it, but no. I think that is why they did it. They were pretty fast with the Dark Sea. It felt like that was their plan Ooh. all along. Yeah. Thirty. this... That's going by reasonably quick. And Ooh. December Spirit's gonna be a beast. If you use Divine Favor on him and he goes for the new same slight. build yeah. with new Slight uh, and Iron Shell, oh my god. Like 10 minutes in, he's gonna be doing like a thousand yeah. DPS. Like, that's, that's crazy. <sighs> Take a they ban Huskar. What that mean? Not sure. So what are they missing? I mean, in terms of tick boxes and rolls and things. Yeah, it could mean that Ember Spirit is going to be mid-hero. Yeah. Visage is coming back, baby. No, I'm just oh. kidding. It's Pre really bad versus Elder Titan. And yeah, they could go for general. something like a troll. Both of the cores on Whoa. side of Vichy Gaming relying on mischance. All right, it's hmm. Spectre. Some Spectre Darkseer. Oh, that's not fun for the support, right? Ru Rubik doesn't have a game oh anymore. Yeah. This Rubik and Elder Titan actually probably literally already feel bad and the game hasn't started. I like it. It's more like their, their game two draft versus Boom ID, right? They didn't just get this like crazy all early game, you know, get a Radiance on Bear. 17 minutes, we're going to win. You, you do have another Radiance hero, but it's definitely a lot slower of a hero. I still like it, though. It just shows Gambit isn't as one-dimensional as they've looked in the past, for sure. Because they did. They, they've yeah. looked very one-dimensional. Yeah. Again, it's a free puck game if they want to go for it. 
They just need to play play a bit differently. They have four seconds left, so they they need to do something. Oh, Necro taking a page out of Flying Penguin's book, and actually they played it earlier today as well, and they won with it. Man, I don't think that's a good good Necro game to to start with. There's a ton of magical damage on their side. Th this Ember Spirit with Iron good Shell, him, yeah. yeah, he he can just shred through Ghost Shroud. I do. Th I think they they pick it up because I think Ori likes the hero, and it it is a. a quote unquote counter to the specter and the fact that oh a lot of hp dispersion we're just going to toss ulti on you i don't think it's the end all be all but i don't know if it's like a winning pick i'm i'm curious once again i i just kind of like gambit's draft because they've showed they they when they draft they know exactly how to play right like i like yeah. vici gaming's draft last game but they didn't play it correctly so i i see a draft like this and i'm i'm a little bit nervous again because this Gambit just has easier to execute, right? Yeah. Again, just way easier to execute. And it's hard to play against the team who drafts this quickly. Yes. It gets into your head. Wh yep. Why are they drafting so quickly? Stop it, yeah. <laughs> Why are they so confident? <laughs> they know exactly what they're doing, and yeah. I'm going to say it for the third time today. It's simple Dota done well. It is. I completely agree. Just You know what you have to do. You do it correctly. They've shown in over 101 games over yep. the last like two weeks. They know how to do it. It works. So does th what, what kind of positive things can we say here for Vici that they are going to force out the third game? They don't have a bad draft, n not at all. It's okay. just going to be a bit, a bit, it's tough. bit tough to execute. Yeah. And uh, again, the laning stage, they're going to need to have a, a good laning stage. Yeah. They had it in the previous yeah. game, but you need to do something with the farm that you have. I think okay. this Legion can make a lot of space. That's going to be all the right. thing. If this Legion just gets two or three just... Uh, you know, duels, gets mm -hmm. a quick blink. He definitely can shut down, like, the Ember, like we talked about, and he'll have to go Lincolns and stuff. So I think this game is, is on Yang again. It is the blink initiator that we were hoping for from Yang here for VG Gaming. Can they force out game number three versus a Gambit? Let's find out with Trent and Lyrical. Thank you so much again, Shiver and the wonderful panel. My goodness, Trent, it's yep. happening. Game number two, game number one looked rough for Vici and Gambit. They're back again. Yeah, what a draft here. Uh, some interesting heroes, some that we don't see all too often. Of course, we got a little taste of the Spectre so far this tournament, thanks to Eternal Envy, but uh, it's going to be back here with the Huck. We got a Legion Commander for Yang, something you guys might have seen him on uh, in the past, and uh, Ori's Necrophos making a return here as well. So... Uh, plenty of uh, neat little heroes here. I don't know. Overall, I think the Chen's main role in this game is just going to be lane matchups. I mean, the panel kind of talked about it a little bit, but uh, this idea of just getting what you want, because when it comes to rotations, I mean, calling in the Ember and uh, the Earth Spirit can be pretty okay as well, I suppose, but I guess uh, the other two cores, like the Spectre and the Darks here, obviously the Darks, the Spectre doesn't really have to worry about recall. You know, he got Haunt. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, but a Darkseer being recalled into a fight is just kind of, I don't know, he's either there or he's not there, it feels like. But we'll see. Maybe it's going to become a little more valuable. Maybe he can throw some Iron Shells on some waves and then get recalled across the map and keep their split push up while still being there for the team fights. Same thing for Ember. Throw a Remnant out, get recalled, yeah. and he can be back farming again. It's, uh, it feels less like a, a combative style of the recall, though, and more like a, like controlling the map style. But Divine Favor. Lots of damage out. DY, are you going to hit the dust? Looks like it. First blood taken by Immersion, who had a ma fabulous game earlier. And it looks like it's going to be a two for two trade off of those bounty runes. While Fade yeah, gets still going. hit by the clip and going to go down as well. So two dead. FNG pulls out another one. Yeah, the uh, Iron Shell with uh, Earth Spirit, one of the, the more common pairings for Darkseer, right? Uh, I think uh, in his heyday, it was basically Earth Spirit, and uh, we even used to get some, some Night Stalker as a support back then, a little bit of Spirit Breaker mixed in there as well, mm. but uh, hey, these guys are our best buds. They always have a very good time, really aids the kill potential early on here, so uh, they have the matchup that we think they wanted here with the ET and the PA, and now you're seeing the bottom lane, it's going to be the Spectre and the Chen versus the Legion and the Rubik. Rubik! He's just not that scary in a no. dual lane scenario. It's just like, yeah, okay. The, we saw the Centaur earlier. That's a little bit better with Yang, right? Much uh, higher kill potential. A Legion Commander is like, yeah, she can survive for a long time, but uh, I'm just looking for FNG really to go in towards like a Harpy next or something. Uh, what camps has he got? Centaur is nearby. There's no Alpha Wolves. Yeah, all the camps here are pretty awful, so that is a benefit for Vici. Yeah, but it's a little bit tough in the laning stage, at least getting that Fade Bolt damage reduction. We can see that Spectre already, uh, only one last hit. Does have three denies, um, but it could be a bit of an issue in that fashion, at least. He does have Divine Favor to make up for it a little bit as well. Don't worry, they're both flopping hard. Okay, you know, it's yeah, okay. Legion's got it. zero, so. <laughs> you know, it happens. In the race of slugs, Dahak is the superior slug. Yeah. 
Good old slugs. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Great contribution. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Divine Favor makes up for a little bit of that damage reduction that happened earlier in FN. Eaten through the Flame Guard punches one more there as well, and has to use the salve for that. Yikes. I see, I want to see. I, 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 maybe it saved him. It was a little bit tough, but this is real harsh. Just chilling in XP range, and Ori, uh, only the one point in Heart Stopper, and still just putting that much pressure on. Well, he's going to bring out the Courier again, but it really sucks just having to sit there in this lane. He keeps touching the hot stove, uh -oh. man. Every time he walks back in, just hits by that Ori, but yeah. Yang. Yang. Third Yang. blood. Yang. Get out of there, buddy. He's taking the hits. Oh, living. Oh, press the attack. Keeping him alive. A Hastern picked up for the Necrophos now. He's going to... Okay. Yeah, but gonna this, mess with them. This Spectre has five tangos left and a stick. This Chen has four tangos and a fairy fire. And Legion Commander had to run away. That's that's not good. They have one tango left on the Legion and two left on the Rubik. They're losing the regen battle to a Spectre lane. Probably uh, a bad sign there. And he does get the best creep in the vicinity in the uh, the Frost Ghost here. Right. I mean, I think part of that too is just the divine favor, right? Like getting more value out of those heals, out of those tangos. And of course, the bonus damage for the trades. DY in some trouble, gonna get rolled on. Punches are there. The CT is dead. 3 0 start for Gambit, coming out hot after a good game one. The lane matchups just, just feel a little bit too good right now. Of course, That's the mid true, lane's though. not going that great, but uh, he had to spend some on regen, so his last hits are kind of okay. But in the net worth department, he's uh, very far behind. You know, you look at the last hits, you're like, oh, it's kind of even, it's not that bad. You switch over, and you're like, oh my god, this Ember is nothing. It's Earth Spirit. Has thrown his life away to the tower. How depressing. I mean, it's, you know, it's becoming cliche at this point. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> it's not as tragic as it once was. Yeah. I get the mud golems. He grabs a secondary creep, causes the split of the mud golems, and throws out some extra harass, and then makes you wonder, like, hmm, what, what is the other creep? Well, it's just uh, another mud golem as nice. he's wrapping in behind here. And oh, this is brilliant. Fortified. Yeah, he's got, uh, he already used the first stuns, though, so. Oh, paparazzi getting chased in at and doesn't have to blink away, <laughs> at least for the moment. He's just throwing all these stuns to burn the mana. That, that's all, or the HP, rather. Uh, that Yang has nothing left. He's out of regen. The Mud Golems are now coming in for their secondary rock here. Oh, my God. He's just maybe dead? Yeah. Yang trying to run away. The Hawk. Oh, God. You got to get there. He, uh, he didn't have any. Uh, oh, actually, he did have a creep to grab. Interesting. Because theoretically, Yang could grab another creep, split the second golem, yeah. uh, and then get the kill. But, uh, I mean, really, not getting the kill doesn't actually matter. Because Legion's just like, well, I, I still can't play here. He's going to get Oh, he, he might be able to do it again. On. Oh, he still has nothing in range? He could just sacrifice it to the tower, too. Well, I mean, this life is good a sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, right? I mean, like, <laughs> you can't jungle with like, this hmm, HP. I wonder where Legion wants to go. Maybe to the shrine, perhaps? Hello. How you doing? Use another ability and get out of my lane. He does have no TP, though, so he's to be a little bit careful. Uh, up top, there is uh, quite a bit of conflict happening here. Mm -hmm. We got a mid-hero up here for the bounty rune exchange. Oh, Surge trying to run. Afterlife, Jeez. another punch. Level one Surge is some slow. Isn't quite going to happen. Yeah, he stole it, though. Yeah, immersion makes it work. Gets a round of applause. Oh, God. Afterlife. Just barely able to walk away from that. Oh, but Iron Shell. This could be a nice play. They play some Warden of Sinny, though, so Fade able to just kind of juke. Yeah, he's, he did a little stutter step there to see if they're going to roll past him or something. Now the Catapult taken as well. Yeah, with all this pressure and the, knowing that he's pretty low. I mean, he has buried out some more regen here, but they're going to try and keep this pressure going. And the, the creeps, they're on the hunt, checking for any uh, additional TPs, just yeah. completely blocking that option away. If someone comes in there, they will actually just die to this chainstone. Speaking of coming in there, one, two, skipped Malu, punch Legion a few more times. But more importantly, it's going to be taken down this tower. Divine favor on the catapult. And they are eventually going to be able to repel this push, it looks like. Oh, God, that FNG just gets pummeled. It's okay, though. Got the tower. Oh, he didn't get the tower. Oh, he did get the tower. The other catapult. We're good. Well done. Yeah, easy. Yeah, mid lane, there were three heroes there for a while uh, from Vici, but Ember was off in the jungle farming away, and then he comes back and is able to make sure that that mid tier one tower doesn't take too much damage. And still, everything fairly static, waiting for those level sixes to make some stuff happen. 
Probably going to see a rotation soon from FNG to the top lane, honestly. Um, after taking this tower already, right, they can just uh, make their way to the opposite side of the map and uh, try and get some additional pressure going using these iron shells because they have the catapult already up here. They have paparazzi pushed under the tower, but they're getting wrapped around on actually by Ori, who has the site and, and now under ward here for Afterlife. They also have some battle going in the bottom lane. We'll see if they're going to be able to find Afterlife, jump forward, get him. Slam. Full kill. And now it's Yang, who uh, has a mana burn creep after him, but not going to slow him down, so he'll get out. Dyer's middle tower is under so attack. So PA, fairly farmed at this stage of the game, but it's kind of just been the Legion that's been the main hero that hasn't gotten online. The rest of Gambit's kind of been able to make things happen either with kills or a lot of denies yeah. in the case of Spectre. Well, it looked like it was kind of like a 3-0 start there for Gambit. Now VG just firing right back, right? We're tied up 3-3. Three, uh, three, three. At this point in the game, they managed to catch Afterlife, who is the next person to kind of start snowballing out of control as he wants to get in towards that helm uh, and get some pressure moving further onto this map as they missed the roll mid. They missed the kick, too. <laughs> oh, they did Emerging, get a right you know, click. He, he, <laughs> he went pretty hard at the start, all right? We all get a couple of those. That's fine. Game one was uh, warming up. It's feeling really good. Just get back in sync here. Level six about to be there for Spectre. Six more tangos. Man, Dahak is not going anywhere. Constant regen. Has to worry about the uh, overwhelming odds. And honestly, just the, the straight up moment of courage here. You can see that's the fact that the, the level three skill at this point for Yang. TP rotation, though. They're bringing in a lot. FN is here as well. Going to be able to find the chains, but don't want to use it too early since there could be a pretty easy press the attack off, but going to get that kill. Nice uh, quick remnant there from FN. The ward helping out there as it was spawning down the river. So seeing that uh, ET was about to go for that. Now up top, they've also had this ward right by the tower for a long time. Just always keeping an eye on Paparazzi's rotations, seeing what their options are in terms of going for a kill. And Immersion, well, he's just heading out there. He TP's right to the mid lane to grab this wave as it comes in. Yeah, getting those levels on the Earth Spirit can make a pretty big difference. Particularly since you have you know, just so much team fight potential out of this Gambit lineup. Once you get those level sixes online. And ooh, that is a nice big hunk of stacks going on in the dire jungle. I don't think that Gambit have any idea that this is happening. And it looks like it's going to be Ori that picks up all of the farm. Yeah, and uh, DY, of course, who will benefit. He manages to take at least a, a couple of these spirits, but yeah. uh, no one really for him to go punch anyway. So very quick acceleration for Ori. Let him get a defensive item in the, uh, the Hood of Defiance and then Yules. I mean, also a defensive item, but honestly, something they can play very aggressively as uh, they want to try and set up for a couple kills across this map. And during all this, Paparazzi has been having a great game. He's 0, zero, zero sure, but he's got 60 last hits, and he's second on the net worth, but again, it's a, it's his PA. You know, the value of the gold on this hero, very high. Just has to try and get in towards that battle fury when he can, try and keep pace with Spectre. And now the first roll will miss. Silence, though, interrupting. The Stomp's going to come out. It connects onto two. Now the follow-up coming from Ori, this ET, but they already dropped the wall, getting all those other auras. Not looking like it's going to be enough, as already Afterlife is dead. And they're backing out. Yeah, Daxia just, I mean, the Iron Shell's great, but like the wall, you know, he doesn't have that massive impact this early on in the game. He doesn't have vacuum skilled yet because he's only level six. It's a pretty normal build at this point. Uh, so going for this big play into so many heroes can be a little bit tough. You know, he tends to be the guy who likes to be versus maybe one or two heroes at this point and just wants to chip away at a tower. Maybe not this uh, massive engagement that the Chen kind of forces your team into. Uh, they didn't even see a moment for the hunt there. That's how bad that was. Yeah. Also, Spectre probably just saying, like, look, I'm, I'm really close to Midas, guys. Like, please. <laughs> Which is something that we should also talk about. I feel like we should say something about the, the Midas on the Spectre, and I don't feel great about it. But you don't like that? Midas and the Radiance? I feel like this is where I've seen a lot of these Spectres going, so it's kind of fine. It might not even be Radiance, honestly. We've seen a couple different builds from the hero. I feel like I like the drums build a little bit more. I've seen a couple of those ones, too, though. I don't know. I guess that it also just seems a little bit weird coming out from Gambit, since their style has always tended to be a little bit more get the push going. Sure, but they already picked a Spectre, so that's okay. out the window. It's fair. Right <laughs> Time to adjust. All right, fair enough. But this tier one tower will get taken down. Dyer's top tower has fallen. And well, one last tier one remaining. Try, try one. again, right? Eventually they take it down. Yeah. 
What about Vici? What do they need to do in this game? It's pretty clear. Just get Spectre big on the side of Gambit. Paparazzi's life. It's kind of the same story, right? Uh, Paparazzi, very scary. I mean, Smoke Ganks, again, will be the name of the game here. Last time, it was definitely uh, Gambit that had the edge on that one. But uh, you have a Legion Commander, so you got to try and make those happen. Okay. Afterlife able to uh, slink himself away. Yeah, we got a uh, Iron Shell stolen for the Rubik as well. So maybe combo that together with a duel or something. Could be kind of nice. Speaking of which, this is Legion that's going to be caught a little bit out of position and brought down by the Hawk. And mid lane, Paparazzi finds going to FNG. Let's say the catapults will at least get out of there, but uh, yeah, good quick grab there. So he continues to farm his way up uh, in towards that Battle Fury, almost up to 5k now. Still well behind this Necrophos, who is just dominating the game right now. Uh, Ori still uh, struggling a little bit to have a major impact and kind of shove anything here, right? They haven't been able to uh, force down any of these tier ones really with any damage whatsoever. Uh, the mid one being the one that took the most damage here. So maybe thinking about that aggression soon. They're clearing up some stacks. They have a smoke on the ET, and yeah, it's time to go. Make something happen. Again, it, it is a little bit tough because Dark... Oh, just the haunt in and find the kill. Oh, that's going to spot the smoke too. Wow, that really hurts. It's going to be just the, these illusions floating around. And yeah, you can see the line there from FNG. Like, guys, I think I know where they're going. Question is, uh, will you end up just being a little bit too confident and get caught by this here? I mean, they can also just recall somebody back with Chen. This Chana is very Mario. unusual from Vici. Yeah. It's really greedy to keep going for that after, you know, you just got haunted on. Yeah, and now the scan is going to connect, and they realize what's going on, that they're still down here. I mean, I guess they use the time to still get a ward down in the area, so that's kind of fine. And they, I mean, you do have Ori as the, the strongest hero in the game and also one of the strongest points in the game for this hero, so you're kind of hoping they're going to engage into you. Just uh, you want to make sure it's not necessarily all of their heroes, which can definitely happen when it comes to a, a Chen. But he's now showing in the mid lane, and that's going to be enough that... Uh, they will continue with leaving Ori down here, rotate the ET to the mid to try and set up with a stomp as they know the catapult push is coming. But, I mean, look at this. It's already here. It is chunking. Like, one more punch right there, and these catapults, I mean, they're... And Ori's worried down bottom. He's actually backing away. They're just in this TP. tower. Yeah, he's coming in with the Yules, though. They should be able to catch one. They don't have a glyph. Doesn't get it off in time. So they just bring the Necro for nothing. Man, this has looked kind of rough for Vici over the last couple minutes. And as you said, if you take this fight right now for Vici, things look good. So I think that it's still a window open for him, but it's just a missed opportunity. And what is the punish that's going to come out from the Radiant, though? Like, uh, you're still building up for a while, right? Yeah. yeah I just finished the Midas. Now he's in the treads for Jahawk. So has some way to contribute. Now going back for a Hood, too. So it looks like he's not going to rush into any sort of a Radiance or anything like that. He's just going to go for, like, probably... A hood, I mean, it's a decent blade mail game, uh, but doesn't seem like he's opting into the white words that if he's going hood, he probably wants to go back for like that Yasha and Manta and whatnot. He could also go the a lot of those big tank items. That would be the Gambit style. We saw Crimson from Envy the other yep. day. Yeah, he could just uh, finish off a pipe. No other great uh, orb builders inside. Like the decks here, you need Greaves, so it's harder to go like pipe and Crimson right away. Paparazzi, suppress the attack. The walk away comes afterwards. Now. Immersion backing out of there as well. Chain stolen. They do have the Dark Seer not in the fight here. But with the DD on FN, they kind of want to get something done. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Yeah, I'm a little surprised he didn't go Helm. I'm not sure if I'm like missing something. I mean, I know there's a Chen, so there's like already some Midas value, but I don't think anyone even picked one up on the Dire side. It's There's nothing particularly insane here from stacking more creeps. And Dark Seer without a Helm always feels a little bit off. Because you, you can't keep the Iron Shell farm going on like a side lane. You can't just like keep... It's like kind of your own Midas, honestly. And it helps with your team fight. And it's another Catapult <laughs> if you really want it. Well, they might make it do and done instead without even having that Helm of the Dominator immersion. Just so much heals. Keeping him alive in the stomp. Going to connect at least for the moment. Trying to separate them away. And he's going to be able to find one kill. Wall down as well. Afterlife caught with the Reaper Sight. Isn't quite enough to find that finish. But with the Yule Scepter lift up, they will finally be able to punish and get a dual win. A bit deep, a little bit of disrespect there. Not uh, thinking that anyone's going to rotate again. They're just they, <laughs> they're creating these fights and then they just don't even haunt. They're just like, yeah, I don't think this looks very good, guys. I don't know if this guy's really stingy <laughs> or what. They just deciding that I I don't think this is good. You know, sometimes you can just pop a haunt. Maybe you're not even going to you know you show yourself for a moment, jump back to someone else. Don't really commit, but it can certainly save some heroes and create that panic moment. But he is just holding that thing. It almost feels like 
They're just feeling, okay, AFK farm on the Spectre, and we'll be fine. And he does have paparazzi. Silence. There's the haunt that they wanted to try and find the core kill, but the jump away paparazzi. Getting very, very low. Reapplying Magnetize. A couple more seconds is all they need, and it looks oh, like they run again. into the boulder. Oh, man. That was unfortunate. Albici going to back out as the rest of Jeez. Gambit is here. They are dropping wards everywhere, trying to check their high ground, keep an eye on that. But, uh, man, maybe Gambit just not forcing the haunt because they just said, look, make them burn their cooldowns, right? Yeah. They don't have Scythe. It's much easier for Ember Spirit to play. Looks like the Hawk has the Relic queued up now, so we might switch instead of the... All right. I, I definitely like that. I feel like his game's going well enough that that's uh, completely fine. He's almost catching up now to the uh, Necropos as he has already eclipsed the Phantom Assassin. And uh, I don't know if you guys know, but there's a, a Leech Commander in this game. Has one dual win <laughs> so far, but I feel like, you know, 0, 2, and 1, not exactly the kill score you want as a Legion by the 17 and a half minute mark. No. Especially when you go Armlet. So it's, it's time to find some smoke ganks. Uh, whenever you're playing Legion, what do you tend to look for? Some burst damage? Not really there this game. Uh, there's no in and out duels here. You know, it's a pretty hard commit at these moments. And man, talking about in and out though, FN jumps right in on top of DY. Looking for the duel. It ain't happening though. Zoom FN in. able to <laughs> zoom out of there. He's bongoing so hard. The war drums are popping, but they are the, the drums of retreat. Yep. He's pulling the creep wave back to the jungle he, now. And he, he's just toying with them. Gets recalled out oh, of there. Oh, this is See nice. Ya. They hit the scan, so they know that it's going to be paparazzi down here alone. They think he's over on the hard camp. Now they run into him, finding the root, getting the chains in some trouble. Poor old Papa. Going to try and get out of there. Do they have another roll in a second? No. Nice TP. Good recognition in that moment. <laughs> they try and bring in a stun. Dex is like, no, I, I don't have one either, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That keeps not really my thing. And it uh, looks like uh, there's some concerns about there being maybe some vision in the area or something, but the war's expiring anyway. So uh, we're nearing the 20 minute mark. Team's starting to uh, start thinking about Roche a little bit at this point in the game. And uh, there's an ET on the dire side. Legion Commander, even with the overwhelming odds being chucked on the pit, can be a little bit bothersome. But uh, this, this is her smoke moment. At least we're getting that flying through here. They're uh, going to see the FNs moving in towards them. Ori going to try and cut them off. They have the Yules. Man, a, a duel but his here remnant would be is so safe right now. Yeah. This, I, oh god, this is going to be a waste rotation. He's out of here. Right after this wave, your window's closing. Bye. Oh, that was actually sick. He tried to slide Light onto the to wave so that he'd have the range for the telekinesis, but it didn't hit. Yep. Oh, that could have been so good. Unfortunate. Yep. It was like the only way that they can initiate from that range. That actually would have caught him off guard so hard. Yeah. Because because like. He thinks there's no range of initiation that can catch him there. That's like the only thing they had. Well, eight to seven, and as we get close to that 20 minute mark, we'll see if there's gonna be a rune fight. The way that this game is going though, it does just have that feel of Gambit are getting the items that they need slowly but steadily. And I mean, do Vici need to be fighting right now? Is, is this a problem that they're not taking any engagements, not able to find really any of those pickoffs? Not necessarily. I mean, you definitely want the uh, Deso first before the PA is going to be engaged, but uh, that doesn't mean the other four heroes should just be kind of lollygagging around. It's kind of what happened last game, it felt like, where they got complacent, but the other team felt like they were stronger in complacency. Right. And Yang will slowly get do the other bounty. Well, he got it. Duel now, trying to turn. See if they take down the Ember. The jump forward, can they find it? Reaper Scythe? No, he does end up going down. It's a winner for the Legion, but the vacuum won't on to four with the Magnetize going. There's not enough follow-up here. They don't have the damage, and Afterlife just needs to run away. Gambit overstepping their bounds, and Vici finally took the fight that they wanted. Yeah, the maxed out surge will save him there, but uh, Vici bringing the numbers there at the Bounty Room battle. They uh, catch the Chen team out. And yeah, actually getting another win there. So huge step up now, and that was level two as well. So you got the 18 bonus damage. You can see all that damage from the Legion, too. But, uh, man, I thought the heal was going to save him, honestly. It, yeah, it looked close. really close. So he jumped right back up to 78% HP, and I'm like, oh, my God, he might actually live here. <laughs> but then that uh, bursted right back down. And uh, Deso nearly secured now for the PA. They're going to take the tower off of this. Big moves for Vici. And you have a Legion Commander who suddenly almost has 3K gold. That's pretty crazy. But what, that's that's the question. What do I do? Do I go I blink? blink? Like, am I the one who can catch this? Do I have to go Shadow Blade? Silver Edge looks good if this game goes late, which it's, it's already kind of feeling that way. Uh, he wants the blink though, so we're just gonna sell the ring of protection straight up and head in towards that blink dagger. 
And ah, that's such a risky item versus an Ember, though. Like, do you really think this guy's not going to have the fast enough fingers? FN, he's pretty good at this hero. You know, yeah. He showed off in game one. That's why the Shadow Blade's so much more tempting. But uh, maybe he goes back for the Shadow Blade, too. Yeah, uh, but like, then you just bought Blink. I know. I, I guess my thought is that, like, it's the type of thing where maybe it's you need to find that range to get there in the first place because he pushes out the wave so quickly anyways. I don't know. It's a tough situation to be in for the Legion, for sure. Yep. So Desso done for the PA. And uh, it looks like they're considering a smoke up here. They're, they're trying to scout the area, looking for wards, thinking about where the lanes are. The top lane's in a bit of a rough spot, but yeah, they're going to smoke up. Is this Radiance fight as well? Oh, this is a good bait. Radiance fight as well, maybe? Ori gets uh, pulled back indeed. in. There's going to be the Earth Splitter, Paparazzi. They try and jump forward. Can they find it? Enough damage. Vacuum wall back in through onto all of them as well. Look at the damage coming out from Ooh, that man. They take it down, but Paparazzi chasing, finding. It gets another. They duel. They try and turn this back around, and Reaper Sight comes out. It is going to kill off FN, but likewise. Look at this Spectre go, though. Oh Surge, Iron Shell, get back here. With the Defined Favor. He wants them all. Oh, it's the Ghost of Ember. Let me get after him. Can they take him down in time, though? It doesn't look like it, so they need to retreat. There's a lot of regen coming through for Ori, but Doc, thinking about chasing, just Midas's and walks away. Oh my god, that remnant of that vacuum. That was like instantaneous, like yeah. 2k damage or something to all those heroes. And uh, <laughs> he went down pretty shortly after that, but uh, the, uh, it looks so good because you're like, yes, all right, we're going to force a fight when we have a fresh Deso. And then suddenly the Radiance is there, and you're like, well, this is uh, very disappointing. So now it's going to be BKB will be the big moment for the PA coming up next. And I think the Legion, too, he got his Blink Dagger broken, so he can't even oh, really yeah, he, do that. He picked, yeah, Blink into Radiance Spectre. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, he's feeling the same way right now, like, oh, yeah, hmm. Whoops. I mean, even the, the Ember, too, it's just there's so many questions. But uh, maybe he's thinking that he can just try and break up these fights, too. Um, if he can get the, oh, well, now they have a ward exactly where they smoked last time. Uh, they're all just standing on top of this board right now. Exactly where they, they are. They should be aware. I don't think, even think they have a smoke right now. They're just hanging out around the pit. Okay. You know, that's fine. Oh, does this courier have a smoke? Oh, God, it does. Oh, this feels so bad. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they are aware. Acutely aware. Jumping oh, forward. Here comes the blink. Who are they going to find? It's some trouble. They don't have haunt this time around. Here comes the blink. There oh. it was. Why Why didn't they let him go? There goes the smoke. <laughs> the courier's dead. What? What's happening? What even? Uh, I actually don't even know what killed it. It was still. It was just floating up where they left it. <laughs> Maybe Darks here went and punched it? I'm not sure. Jump forward, duel. Okay. Darks is a pretty good target. He does have Greaves. But it looks like it's not going to be enough to keep him alive. He didn't pop Greaves. Okay. Buys back. They want to fight this Roche. I mean, this could be their moment with no haunt. How close are we? 13 yeah, seconds Ori away. Is, uh, just throwing in the body. They have the stolen searing chains right now from the Rubik's. So they're continuing control. But here the comes Stomp FN. with the wolves lift up as well. They have the Reaper Sight. They pull them all up onto the high ground with the vacuum wall working. Can they take them down in time? Radiance is going to come out in just a second. They do have Haunt afterwards. They're already burning through them a little bit. And there's going to be the chase board coming out afterwards. Oh They've God. already found one. Now chasing for Paparazzi. Triple kill for FN. This man is on a spree. They and are, Roche is open. They're like marshmallows to the, the fire <laughs> of Gambit. Every time it's a vacuum, there's remnants, there's a radiance. They're, they're just getting roasted alive here. They're making s'mores out of them. Look at this damage between these two. Yeah, it's it, insane. It's all them. It, it, they just stand there. Darkseer's just throwing out these vacuums. Afterlife absolutely slain at this game. And, uh, well, Yang is trying to make some plays here. Maybe a courier revenge kill. They're trying to catch someone lurking back to base. And, well, hopefully lurching, really. And see if he can pick off the weakest of the herd. Unfortunately, uh, the weeks of the herd appears to be a Dark Troll Summoner. Oh, and the Hawk. I, I think he realizes now that Legion's in the area. Man, look at that swing. Oh, lordy. And that is rough. It, it's not a, a GG lead quite yet, right? I mean, it's a PA, right? Yeah. She has her moments. It hurts that she's dying twice in a row like this. Her farm has just been absolutely gutted. That PKB feels just as far away as well oh, before, but... They get the duel on the Ember. Team? We weren't finished. I, we weren't finished, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> An appropriate voice line. <laughs> See ya. <sighs> Yang, Yang looks a little tilted, if I had to be frank here. Mm. I thought you were Trent. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you got all your puns out with Fogged. I heard a couple. That happens, man. You got to do them. All right. Now, we're going to try some sort of a fight here. 
I'm not sure if they want to. They don't even have Scythe. They can't really engage at the moment. That pipe feels like a necessity at this point from Ori. See if they can uh, try and prevent all this magic damage that's bursting them down at the beginning of these engagements inside that vacuum. Already have the Iron Shell prepped up on Immersion. And he is out of Spirit Vessel Charges, so they got that going for them. You know, that's something. He's simply thrown out too many. It does just completely own that Necro, too. Yeah. I guess that there's the press the attack off, which you can use. True. But, of course, then the duel is very hard after that. Yeah. Radiant structures are fortified. Yeah, this, this Legion is really... They're trying neutered. to bait play down here. They're like, someone will come down bottom. And then try and get a duel with the Deso from the PA, but... Not happening yet. Well, Frank, it's not looking good. Mm -mm. They're heading up top. Aegis in hand could have that level 20 talent too as well for the Hawk. In just a second here, 500 health. It's already difficult enough trying to kill off the Spectre. There's a pipe done. Okay. Lincoln Sphere also is finished though for the Ember. And this has not been revealed yet. It is now. This, this is an Ember Spectre draft. So I got to be a little careful going on. Oh, they're ground. trying to bait it out. They want him to use the, the Scythe on him. He's going to use the, the Lincolns. I mean, he's got Aegis too. So it's kind of like they're fine either way, you know? Yeah. Oh, I think I'll just TP home and uh, I can get recalled. How does that sound, guys? Oh, that sounds pretty good. Easy. Rooted to the spot. There I Silence am. out again. Haunt is back up again. So is the Midas. Need a Topson Meteor Hammer here or something. You know, chip away these buildings. Middle is under All right, attack. Divine Favor walking forward, causing some issues. Ori gets it taken off. Sleep on the two. No follow up. No nothing. They don't have answers. Slowly and steadily, they're burning through them one by one. Rolling by Immersion, a little bit off the mark. Meanwhile, the duel able to connect onto one as well. This is onto Ember. Can they bring him down in time? No! Vacuum wall, everything comes out. They do manage to kill off that Ember. No buyback for him, and the Stomp also is going to connect. It's doing a good bit of damage here onto the Hawk, but the slow Radiance burn might finally be enough. Immersion again, a little bit off the mark with that roll. They can't take down DY. Vici hold! Oh, they can't get that Aegis. That would have been great, but it's true. I mean, it's still a great fight at this point, and uh, oh, they're even going to get a little bit of a cleanup here onto Immersion. Got him. Man, how about that? They get both the Scythe and the Duel off onto a Lincoln's Ember. So I'm just going to default give credit to the Rubik and assume he's the one that did it. But maybe it was the Yule Scepter from the, uh, the Necro as well. I'm not sure. But either way, great stuff there from Vici to find that coordination to actually lock down that Ember. Because FN only got 1,400 damage off that fight. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Pipe once again playing a major factor. I mean, Haunt wasn't used either, right? I'm not crazy. Or was used. Yeah, okay. you might be crazy. I'm crazy. Yeah. BKB for the PA. Does only leave us with a minute left on the Aegis here. So unlikely to get anything else out of this one. They're going to have to wait for the uh, Ember. And at that point, it's going to be hard to do much. Plus, uh, it'll essentially be expiring awesome. right when the uh, the Aegis goes down. So, Or sorry, the uh, when the Aegis expires, they'll be getting the Haunt back. So... Mid lane, they uh, spot the removal of the Amber Spirit and some cooldown issues for Gambit. So they're able to mm. go forward and grab themselves uh, a tier one. Unfortunately, it will get denied there by F and G. But still space. Fade and Immersion just ships oh, in the he night. Has the BKB finished up here for the Legion Commander? As long as his courier doesn't okay. die, that will be disastrous. But it's skirting the vision and away it'll go. Ooh. Might not be so lucky on the way back. Possibly. They roll in with Fade, see the Courier, not going to get pulled out of position. Courier. Actually, kiss, kicks him the wrong direction. Immersion, still there. Vacuum wall again onto three, doing pretty good damage. The Stomp's not interrupting, but they do just blow up this Earth Spirit still. And now walking forward for more, seeing what they can do. That BKB from Yang, oh. they find the duel. The not Aegis bad at all. Expired. And can they bring him down in time? Yes! They're going to take him down! The Aegis expiration. Oh, Gambit. Oh, flawless timing on this engagement from VG Gaming, keeping those timers, and now they're going to hop forward again onto F and G. Stolen Holy Persuasion. We have Chen PA unlocked on VG Gaming. Oh, man. The strategy has finally come together. It only took 30 minutes, but now we are there. And dead no buyback for 98 seconds. I mean, Vici might not know that, but this is going to be a lot of damage with double catapult in the divine favor on these catapults. If, if they saw the Manta, they're going to be like, all right, that guy just, he just full out bought a Manta. They're going up high ground. A and you've got press the attack with divine favor. Oh, why did you put it on the PA? 
because they, they want to kill okay, heroes. That's fine. That's fair. I, that's think, fair. I think they got the buildings out of control here, game. <laughs> fair enough. They're not going to, yeah, he doesn't have control of them, so he can't just run now, mid with it. There are tier twos in the other lanes. Yeah. Uh, so unfortunately, unless you want to go real ham, not much you can do here. Uh, hopefully you're going to get a tier two. That is uh, the minimal goal that you get in this next minute. Maybe even a second tier three, potentially, but unlikely to get another lane of racks here. Wow, what a, a bounce back here from VG Gaming. Suddenly it's a 7k lead, and a lot of that coming from the fact that they held that tier 3. I mean, <laughs> yeah, again, we said it before, it's an Ember and a Spectre. So right. not easy to hit buildings. There's no doubt about that. Your third core is a Darkseer, and uh, it's not really the same issue here for the side of VG Gaming. they got some pretty solid right clickers. And, and going for less of the aura builds because they're playing against Darkseer, I think also partially, is, is made a pretty big difference. Like, the vacuum wall is not doing all that much, it feels like, in these fights. Once the pipe came out, that, I mean, that was made the big difference right. because they were just getting roasted alive. Uh, and then that was heavily mitigated from Ori's build decision here. And they just cleaned up some of the best objectives in the game, right? Getting that roast shrine yeah. that's nearby. It's going to make the, harder, the next fight harder if they try buybacks. Uh, they got the tier two, which is the next best thing in TP2, really. And uh, they took one full set here. So, Brax advantage now. Even a tier one. My God, you can't get much better than that. 8K advantage suddenly for Vici Gaming when they were previously down uh, about 5K just moments ago. I mean, what was the win percentage at, too? Like, from Dota. Good God. <laughs> if you look, look at all those red swing. dots at the bottom. That is insane. Not, there is nothing going Gambit's way for the last while. Well, we got a game, folks. And more so, I think that we might have a Vici game. 9,000 gold up. And again, you got to worry about a Spectre late game. But the Hawk is not at the point where I'm absolutely terrified of him right now. Oh, man. It's crazy how much an impact on having buyback has, though. Like, they yeah. could have potentially even fought that after, right? Buyback totally. Haunt, because Haunt was just coming online at that moment. And also, the age is going down at that moment, too. Oh, it's brutal. Very, very brutal. All right, well, if Evan gets out of here, though, uh, they definitely still have map advantage at this point in the game, right? Uh, unless I'm mistaken, I don't see any boots of travel on the dire side. Whereas on the Radiant, you have uh, a Chen recalling people across. You have a Haunt, possibly, to engage into aggressive options. And then you have an Ember Spirit, who's able to remnant himself around, plus get recalled. So um, even though there's no bots on the Radiant side either, they should be able to get the lane advantage going back their way. They can slowly kind of choke up each gaming, move them across the map, and you should start to see this 9k lead dwindle over time. This game might get very stale for the next while. Um, the Roast fight is really the only thing that we can draw the teams together, but if that ends up going the way of Gambit, it feels like this game's just gonna go into a stalemate until they uh, like kind of gain up some items and push themselves back to an advantage over each gaming again. Right. And Ori now has the Shiva's Guard though, so another big upgrade for this hero. On well, Vici are heading out together through the mid lane. As they're smoked up, who are they going to find? FNG's throwing the body up. He knows. He's the one who's supposed to break the smoke. Jump forward. There's the Spectre. Got him. FN. Lincoln's here broken. The good silence. He's up on the high ground right now. Needs to be careful. Can they control him and take him down in time? Everybody's still living for the moment. Stomp, not quite going to connect. He goes back oh, up to the safe space. Disarmed. He's safe space. He's they, up there. They, they can't see the him. Fight. They can't see him. He's up on the high ground. Uh, now roll forward, maybe looking for more. There's still Satanic on Paparazzi. There's turn potential, even with the BKB being down. A root on the two. Ori left alone. Now the Haunt comes out, breaking any potential blink barriers. An immersion found the back lines as well, but he gets eviscerated by Paparazzi. And now the rest of Gambit moving into position. Another vacuum pulling those two together. They've already lost the ET and the Rubik. The Remnant forward, but the duel to try and turn it. And the Reaper Scythe, they find the kill yet again. They take down that Spectre. But there can is they finish it There's all? Recall. Paparazzi, look at the region. Look at the health he's getting from all of this right click. Great target acquisition, too, to take down the Chen instantly once they see that Spectre buyback because they know there's no haunt, and they think, oh, how's he going to get in here? Ah, destroy ourselves a Chen, make sure there's no turnaround there, and that's going to keep that lead going in their favor. The fight, it, it's technically a win for Vici game, or, uh, Gambit, but really when it comes into the uh, factor of the buyback timer and the heroes left alive for Vici, because even though there's only two, they can do this Roche. And do they know that this is happening? I, they don't really have the it's greatest a bold vision. Move. I mean, they're probably going to check here right now for FN. He's thinking about it. Oh, he's walking over. Slight of fist. He sees it. The root on the two. Now they know. Now they're moving in. Now they want to try and take it. The vacuum wall bowls it back in, snatching the Aegis afterlife, saving the day for his team. Yeah, but can he keep it? Oh, he's not going to be able to. They can't fight. There's no haunt. 
Another root on two. Everybody's respawning right now from Gambit. They just need to get him out of there if they can, but you will Scepter lift up, and that's going to take off the Surge, so Darkseer will go down. And Pavarazzi did get the cheese as well there onto the PA, so... Sure, he gets the Aegis, but he throws his life away. He might be forced to buy back here. Only 15 more seconds until the Legion returns. And uh, Rubik did not manage to get any spells on his return into this, though. So he's going to be looking for something before they want to go high ground. Yeah, there's still a Tier 2 tower that they can take in the top lane. It looks like Paparazzi huh. is going to head that direction. Why did they send Paparazzi home? He must be eyeing some sort of an item here, because they could have just left that towards the Legion, honestly. I guess Yang is thinking that he can try and make his way down towards bottom team. Yeah. Paparazzi uh, closing in on 3k. What about uh, buybacks across the board here? Radiant sides. Uh, we, of course, don't have the Spectre. She just used it. Immersion needs a little bit more gold, but aside from that, they should have all four available. Lift up. They found the duel. Ember Spirit caught alone, taunted. Can they kill him off in time? It's going to be really, 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 really close to get him. That last Brock, it looked like, in the moment of courage. And they are able to find that kill. These pickoffs. Legion has come online in a big way. Oh, what is the plan, though, for Ricci Gaming? That's Waiting for the creep wave. In it comes. They have, I guess, everything, right? Because all they spent was duel, so life looks good. You can see Yang is trying to find an angle down here. Just going to try and pull this last wave in. Bye back on the Ember. Now they can just regroup. Still hanging on to that cheese for Paparazzi. Do we have Spear Vessel Charges? We don't. I'm going to try and take down these Illusions, which are killing off the Creep Wave. Again, neither team great at pushing. No, pretty much waiting until the uh, enemy is essentially dead. It's a, it's full commit pushes from both lineups at this point in the game, right. but uh, I think mean, at this point in the game, we also have a five level advantage on Paparazzi over FN. Uh, of course, uh, Dahak now closing in on 25 as well at 23 and a half, but uh, the new kind of peak for Phantom Assassin has become 25 with the Triple Strike Stifling Dagger. It is just as disgusting as it was before. At this point, you just happen to have a lot more damage by the time it comes out with it uh, being added onto another five levels. I wonder if you need to start thinking about, like, Aeon Disc or something to deal with the Legion Commander. As funky as it is, like, swap it in and out of your backpack or I don't something. think it's an... Wow, well, yeah. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't think you can anymore, right? Oh. I think I could change with the, the Winter Wyvern changes. Uh, so now it, it becomes an issue of just... Uh, ugh. Yikes. Yeah, <laughs> no, that, right. I mean, he's looking for the Nullifier, right? Uh, that's one pretty yeah. good option. See if they can try and stop the uh, Satanic and the BKB from coming out. But they just they don't have a lot of burst damage aside from Magical, right? And at that point, at least the BKB is being somewhat reduced. But it's not like it's down to five seconds. It's still eight for the PA. I, I, you still got like three really good fights right now for VG Gaming. And uh, it t to me, the answer looks like Boots of Travel, honestly, for some of these raiding heroes. Trying to cut some waves and trying to exhaust Vici Gaming. The other thing, too, though, is that it does feel like they're losing every fight. So if you invest in those type of items, you're probably going to lose the fight even harder since Vici will be buying actual fighting That's why items. you don't fight. Exactly, I guess, yeah. And now they've got him uh, a little bit pincer there, but he's an ember, so he just hops right over top of you. And they're going to smoke up here. Uh, no wards inside the base, so this won't necessarily be seen by Vici Gaming. Necro alone. Are they anticipating somebody moving to the bottom lane here? Yeah, it looks like they're hoping that uh, someone will get down here. But again, there's no boots to travel, so looks like this is just a bounty rune secure. They're hoping that someone's going to TP down here for these. And there is somebody doing just that. They scan. They see yeah, the it. Mr. Scan. Yang. Oh, they just leave, though. Mm. Oh, he's out. That's surprising. Interesting. Maybe they thought that it was going to be numbers. Uh, everyone else had left their vision as well. Plus, you can see there is very superior vision uh, from the side of each gaming in the top half of the map. Yep. They have the Tinker Ward up on the side. They've got the good little Pinnacle Ward. And they are being choked into their base now up to a 17k lead. And uh, Patience now from Vici Gaming. Still very little has gone right for Gambit over the last several minutes, it feels like. And maybe now is the opportunity to stun the kickback. Man, long range of initiation and pulls him in even closer. But Ori able to live through it afterwards. They pull back in this Dark Seer, going to be able to find that stun afterwards. Stealing an Iron Shell, and now needing to walk away afterwards. Almost finding that killing with the Reaper Sight. They'll take it. 
We're just going to dunk it on down. We're up to 5k gold, 2600 surplus. Press the attack on Paparazzi with everything leveled onto him. He is going to do so much damage. AoE press the attack, in fact. Oh, there's so many AOE. items coming, though. They just they forced the buyback. I almost want to see them retreat here from each gaming, but no answer quite yet to them, so perhaps it's not necessary. They're feeling very strong. Just take down the melee barracks. Not a great answer from Gambit right now. Paparazzi is too big. There's still a basher coming on this courier as well. Uh, I mean, again, Paparazzi... Uh, He's ready. He still has so much gold after. He's 5,300 gold, 5,600 on the Necrophos. I don't really like a fight sitting on this much. I mean, you've already been this patient. You should probably buy some items. 23,000 net worth lead. 4,300 on Yang, too. Did they Time just to give somebody in. a moon shard? No. Not sure what that noise was. But nonetheless, 98 dual damage. And Gambit really have not been able to do anything for about 15 to 20 minutes, it feels like. Yeah, and you can already see the game plan of EG Gaming. The Courier is in the Roach Pit, and we're still two minutes away from the first potential spawn, so they're committing uh, to just holding out here, waiting for the uh, Abyssal Blade to be finished up here for Paparazzi. Two lanes of Rax already down, and FN's going to need to remnant out. Oh, that, there was a hero there. What? <laughs> Might grow on a creep or something. I'm not sure how he got out there. That's not good. Well, Chen buys back, and now Gambit ready to make one last hurrah, potentially. We'll have to see. Divine Favor on him. Paparazzi is just melting through these buildings. The silence comes after the Presti attack is already out. But yet and still, Paparazzi and Ori ready to beat away at that melee barracks. The vacuum wall pulls him back in. The stomp, a little bit off the mark there, but they are able to steal away the wall and throw it onto the Spectre. Does not have a Spectre of their own. They jump forward, find the duel, going to be able to get the win most likely, and Dahak wanting to do what he can with the blade mail, but it's not nearly enough. Both are dead for two minutes, and with that, Vici Gaming are going to take game number two and push us to a game number three for the first time here. Wow. Today. It, it definitely looked like Gambit had this one tied up with a bow on it, and we said, you know, I mean, it can't happen. It's a Phantom Assassin draft and everything, and, uh, yeah. well, that's what we wound up into. Some huge pickoffs, just one death of the Spectre in the jungle, no buyback, and then they just picked apart the rest of the fight after that. You saw how the fights were going. It was the vacuum. It was the heavy magic damage, and once that pipe came out, it was a whole different game. People weren't dying fast enough. Other spells were actually being cast, not just instantly incinerated uh, from all that fire damage. And uh, not taking that top tower, the lack of siege potential, and this it, has become kind of a sign of these losing Chen drafts. Right. They close out all the tier ones, all the tier twos, <laughs> and you're like, man, <laughs> towers are so easy. And then it gets to tier threes with these catapults, and teams tend to maybe overextend a little bit. It's true. And either overextend or just can't finish them off. And then, you know, afterwards, you, you can't make up the advantage because you don't have a team fighter in the late game. You have somebody that puts divine favor on somebody else. And then Rubik steals it, and then you feel terrible. Yeah, that's pretty good. And Yang, man, talk about what showing up in the late game. Jeez, he got all of the best duels. The Blink Dagger, first, a uh, little disastrous. Yeah, uh, and definitely. then suddenly he started catching all the heroes that he needed. So Yang just shaping up, getting there. Maybe the pipe helping out there as well to make sure that the Blink wouldn't be uh, canceled yeah. by the Radiance and stuff too. So just uh, a lot of great itemization, really, for VG Gaming is kind of what that one felt like um, heading into the later parts of the game. Ori was pretty much flawless with his build. And... Uh, Man, I, I think we got ourselves a series. You know, Absolutely. I was worried. We didn't want just six <laughs> games, right? Who wants that? You guys don't want that. We're going to seven. And simple Dota done well was the mantra that the panel had said. Looks like they maybe need to go back to that for Gambit. Let's see what the panel thought about that.